the market was flooded with cheap oil after World War II. We can still hear from our fathers that gasoline was pennyworth, fuel cost 4 kopecks per liter in the Soviet Union in the 1960s. Careless drivers poured it into ditches and wooded areas all over the country to show that they were driving and working while they were not going anywhere. But money was paid for this fake work and it was considered okay all over the country. A minor revival of gasifier transport occurred in 1973 as a result of the oil crisis. The OPEC countries, Egypt and Syria decided not to supply oil to the United States, Great Britain, Japan, Canada, and the Netherlands for their support of Israel in the Yom Kippur War against Syria and Egypt. The price of oil quadrupled. It would have been fine if the price had just gone up. There was no fuel at all at a lot of gas stations in the U.S. miles-long queues for gasoline were standing in the early mornings. Nixon urged the nation to save. In Holland, those who exceeded the electricity consumption limit risked imprisonment. Americans treated gasoline as something usual they took for granted, something that would be cheap and would always be. Accustomed to buying cars with big voracious engines, they stooped to stealing their neighbor's gasoline. Many bristled up with guns warning thieves, no step further. The profiteers immediately stepped in why wouldn't they make money if gasoline had become scarce. The crisis hit the auto industry immediately. Automakers that used to produce cars with big engines, i.e. Chevrolet with its 6.5-liter engines, were forced out by Japanese small cars. The consequences of the oil crisis were felt for many years. Today, as back then, 60% of the U.S. economy sits on an oil needle. Businessmen who had plenty of money were forced to hitchhike on the roads. So, due to a lack of gasoline, people turned to gasifier vehicles again. The technology had been already lost as it was not trivial. Somebody remembered something, others had books in their closets. Small meetings of gasifier vehicle owners were carried out in the US. But everything went back to normal after overcoming the crisis. And today, people all over the world pay a price 100 times higher than the original gas price. Today, all countries have begun to abandon gasoline and diesel cars, realizing the very near end of the oil era. Electric and hydrogen cars are on the way. Wealthy countries are legislating a ban on internal combustion engines based on the auto cycle, which has served and is still serving the mankind for 150 years. Naturally, rich countries will have their hydrogen filling stations and thousands of hectares of solar panels. They will lay cables all over the country and quickly install electric car charging stations spending hundreds of billions of dollars for this. That's what they are already doing. In my opinion, the fate of poor countries is unenviable in the coming years. Hydrocarbons are the foundation of civilization. There will be neither progress nor growth without them. I believe that mankind is about to face a severe energy crisis as there has never been before. We will see oil wars and no gas signs at gas stations again. And there will not be enough fuel oil, natural gas, or coal to generate electricity at thermal power plants leading to rolling blackouts. And in order to charge the electric car, it will be necessary to start a gasoline electricity generator. Then there will be another renaissance of gasifier vehicles. It seems to me that this will happen in the next 10 to 20 years. Well, we'll see.